the dash it works smoothly plain assist system and everything is perfect the interiors are too welcoming 10 on 10 for the interiors have you waited for this car Hi guys and welcome to Motor Beam. Today I have with me a customer of the MG Aster, Mr. Parag Gatole. Hi Parag, thank you so much for taking some time out for the shoot. So can you give us a quick introduction about yourself? What do you do? What are your hobbies? Thank you, Pat. Uh, I am a professional LED lighting guy. Uh, basically, hobby is traveling. That for the for the same reason I have taken the car. I travel a lot. So uh, when you were thinking of buying the MG Aster, did you consider any other car in the same segment? So what were your thoughts on the other cars also? I have considered Seltos specifically, but in terms of if I compare the car, driving pleasure is much better in an MG Aster. Interiors are superb, I think so, and I've driven it more than 5,000 kilometers now. So consciously, I can tell you it's it's a plus than a Seltos. So what variant do you have? Can you give us a brief idea about that? Uh, it's the top variant, basically Savvy. And it's a six-speed automatic turbo. Okay, so uh, how was the buying experience with the car? From what dealership did you buy it? I bought it from Tejpal Motors. I already have a couple of cars from them, so the experience has been good. Okay, and when you bought the car, what were the thoughts of your friends and family members when they saw the car for the first time and they so, sat in it for the first time? They they are superbly excited about the car. We waited for this car, so they were like wait, waiting. They were superb happy about the car, and the interior was too too welcoming. So kids have a gala time here. Yeah. So what is the favorite feature of the kids? <laughs> the kids is the panoramic sunroof. Mm. And if the Flamingo watch here at Palm Beach, yeah. Nero less superb. Mm. So they love the car. And what are the AI bot? Do the kids love playing oh, in it? Right? Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and the AI bot is superb. I think a couple of changes, upgrades over the period mm. should make it more better. Okay, so now the car comes loaded with a lot of features. Now, according to you, what are the top three features? If you ask me the top three features, the first one that I feel is Adas because I have tried it on the highway. It works smoothly. More than happy with the Adas feature. The second, if you ask me, is the driving pleasure in terms of uh, specifically if you ask the lane assist system and everything is perfect. There is I am a guy who is on the phone couple most of the times, so it helps me a lot. Okay. okay, and the third one, if you ask me, the interiors, the interiors are too welcoming. I have seen a couple of other cars, but it didn't make me that happy. Mm. And Sangria Red has been my personal favorite. Mm. So, complete 10 on 10 for the interiors. You get this nice premium vibe in the interior. Very right? much, very much, absolutely. So, uh, what do you think about the comfort offered by the seats and the ease of ingress and egress with the car? Good, good. I am a six feet guy. Mm. I, it's very simple for me without banging my head. Mm. Uh, so, I think Ingress Outgas is perfect. Uh, and uh, have you tried the music system of the car and the connected car features? What are your thoughts on that? Display is too good. Mm -hmm. uh, music system could have been more receptive, is what I feel. I have tried all the connected features of the car. A uh, couple of additions that I think so over the period, uh, once the upgrade is there, we would have that. So, what kind of music do you listen to the car? Bollywood uh, or? Uh, it's a mix here, it's a complete mm -hmm. mix. It's a Spotify car. <laughs> so, you have an entire platter for yourself. <laughs> it's like a disco on wheels. Uh, it's purely a disco on wheels. <laughs> and how do you, what is the kind of usage that you have in the car? Like, do you drive in the city more or on the highway more? See, my local city drive would be more. It's like 90 to 100 kilometers a day. Mm -hmm. I, and outstation, if you ask me on Express, there are a couple of drives. Okay. Uh, twice I travel to Pune every week. Oh, every week. So, yeah, mm. every week. So, like, what do you think about the performance from the 1.3 liter turbo engine uh, in the city also and on the highway also? Okay. So, if you ask me, it's a 1.3 turbo and a three cylinder. I had on the only glitch that I had in my mind was a three cylinder car. Mm. I had always a four cylinder car till date. It has already exceeded my expectation. And it is smooth. You, anyone who drives the car the first time, will not be able to tell that's a challenge. It's a three cylinder car. Mm -hmm. So I've been very happy with the car. And out on the highways also, when you want to make some quick overtakes. And I, I do that. I've tried it. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a bit of lag, but it's fine. You get to get used to the car and then you can use, easily do it. Now, obviously, we have so many potholes and craters on our roads. So when you drive the car over them, what do you think about the ride quality, the comfort that the car offers and the durability? It's superb. See, I'm a guy who's out on sites with everywhere construction work going on. Uh -huh. One of the main reasons for me taking this or selecting this car was that. Okay. It was a good ground clearance, mm -hmm. that wheels are already tested. Mm -hmm. So off-roading a bit is already being done. Okay. I am personally, if you ask me, it's I am very happy mm -hmm. for that. 
so like where have you done off roading or maybe driven over rough surfaces it's ambi valley very close from bombay okay. which we've done mm -hmm. so you i have tested all the features of the car there and have you tried the different steering wheel modes that absolutely the absolutely absolutely the urban mode is something which as i told you it's 90 100 km city drive every day mm -hmm. so it's most of the times in urban when i am out i do use the other modes so you drive for 90 100 kilometers every day almost every day so what is the kind of mileage that you are getting and do you own a that's petrol a pump good, that's a very good question path see i have not taken this car with respect to the mileage okay uh, uh, my expectation was somewhere around 12 to say 15 mm. it's giving me close to 11 12 sometimes on highway it's giving me absolutely fine mm. it gives me somewhere around 16 sometimes 18 sometimes so that that's an on road thing with snaps i can help you <laughs> no, i think that's a pretty decent number for yeah, yeah, the second yeah. yeah realistic expectation from the car mm. uh, specifically so on a full tank of fuel what is the kind of range that you get cruising range uh, if you ask me range 630 is the highest that i have gone okay. yeah that is 630 yeah it's decent it's for fine, long drive i guess yeah a realistic expectation i mm -hmm. say and uh, is there any dream destination that you want to visit with the car or some place already you have visited some nice place some holiday drive that i you? want to drive it to rajasthan very okay. soon mm -hmm. that is what is the plan next okay. okay and have you done any long drives in the past with the uh, car not much mm. pune nasik is like it's under 200 yeah. 250 km yeah. so i am yet to go on a long mm -hmm. drive <laughs> and uh, now we have to talk about some room for improvement what do you think could be better in the car uh, couple of things if you ask me uh, in terms of ventilated seat is a very basic feature which i feel a car at this level should have it mm -hmm. irvms is a big miss i think sure mm -hmm. uh, but overall if you ask me uh, one more thing which i feel it's a personal thing that the trunk should have been automated if i i am a 6 feet guy i can yeah. easily do it mm -hmm. nobody else can Now, uh, how has the service experience been with the car? I'm sure you must have done the first or second service. I have Why done not? my first service. Now, okay. uh, it has been good. Mm -hmm. The dealer has been supportive. Right. Okay. And have you bought the extended warranty package? I have bought it package? a five years extended warranty is already taken care. Okay. Yeah. So get some peace of mind with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you had to, uh, you know, give give your car some name or a phrase that would you know sum up the car, what would that be? fantastic fantastic yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now mg motor has been equipping the cars with a lot of features so was this a deciding factor for you the features and also the safety tech that the car gets yeah that is one more thing which was a deciding factor uh, you see that feel you are sitting in a safe car it's a good end cap i think sure yeah. uh, so specifically once you sit in the car uh, what was a miss on any other car was the safety feeling once i enter the car and if you drive it you should get that feeling i think so there's a immediate connect with the car and now the car has so many features was there some feature that you are not aware that the car gets but after owning and driving the car for so many months you found out that oh yeah this car also has this feature oh that was the keyless entry specifically okay. if you ask me because i am a kind of person who misplaces my keys okay so that that was a big thing for me and i was super happy to have this feature specifically So if you misplace the keys, aren't you aware, scared that someone will just steal the car? No, <laughs> not at all. Yeah. You know the feature of this car. Yeah. You cannot take the car more than 50. Yeah, geofencing. Geofencing is already there. Okay. So, so you make proper use of all the connected car features, everything. Yeah, absolutely. I am still learning, and trying to enjoy it more. So how exactly do you use the keyless go feature from the mobile phone? From or? the mobile phone, uh, the app is superb, mm -hmm. without any glitches till date. Okay. So I am more than happy with that mm -hmm. also. Okay thank you Parak for sharing your experience with us any advice for people who are thinking about buying the MG Aster Thank you Bath uh, if you are going for an MG Aster couple of things which I'll tell you after the usage is uh, if you are someone who drives regularly 80 100 km go for it it's a very safe car feature loaded and the most best part of the car is the interior that you are if you are a solo driver like me don't have any second thoughts there is no other car out there who can be as compared to an aster okay thank you so much parag thank you guys for watching this video if you also want to share your ownership experiences with us do hit us up on contact@motorbeam.com and i'll see you guys in the next one